Hello everyone, uh, Dave Olender here with Olender LLC Consulting. Uh, you can see my web page here if you're interested. Uh, you want to contact me, there's my phone number, there's my email address. Uh, feel, feel free. So today we're going to do a quickie, which is just how can I find the difference in dates? I'm doing a report, I want the difference in dates. This is in the at the BAQ level now, not SSRS. And um, so I've done a quick uh, mock-up here for us. So here I am over in the uh, demo database, and um, I set up just a quick query that's looking at the uh, purchase order receipts, and I've linked the PO uh, release table, and I'm joining it with the standard stuff, right? Company PO release. Uh, so if I go to analyze and do a test, um, you can see that I've got the receipt date and the due date, but I want to know the difference between these dates. How do, what's the formula? How do I do that? Well, it turns out it's a, it's a secret. So here's the, here's the secret. If you go to the display fields and go to the calculated fields, let's set up a field called, um, um, I don't know, show difference. Spell that right? Yeah, it's close enough. All right, the result's going to be an integer, and you need to use the date diff function. And then I'm going to use day as the input parameter, and or that I don't know what they call that. It's the you know this could be uh, it's we there's days, weeks, uh, months, years. Uh, there's different codes. If you Google the date diff, uh, it's it's the standard uh, Microsoft format for that. So. So the syntax is date diff. You tell what's your what what units you're talking about. In, the, in our case, it's going to be days, and then we want the two dates. Let's pick the uh, uh, due date minus. Oops, sorry, got a little crazy there. It's due date, and then it's receipt date, and then that's the end of the function. If we do a syntax, say OK, and if we run this, there's our there's our difference, show difference. So let's pick one that's a little more obvious. Well, here's the minus ones and ones. So there was a nine. It was re received on the 15th. Due date was the 16th. And so we're showing a minus one. Well, you get the idea. That's so that function, believe it or not, is I, I haven't been able to find it anywhere, right? If you go into the formula editor and you say, okay, show me under the date function, show me how do I figure out how to get the difference between dates? I don't know of any way to do that. You do a little bit of a little bit of Googling, a little bit of uh, form browsing, and you'll find that this is the syntax that you can use that works. I'm not quite sure why it's not there in the list, uh, but it can be a little bit of a source of frustration when you're trying to do what's a really a very simple thing, and um, it's uh, it's hard to do. It's because, like I said, it's kind of a it's kind of a secret, super secret thing. Well, now you're in on the secret. Now you know. So show someone else. Don't let them uh, pull their hair out. And uh, happy epicoring. I think I just made up that word. Take care. See ya.